When a new device is introduced to the network, we need a mechanism to tell the registry what sources and, re and receivers are there to allow switching and connection. The way that's done is through the NMOS ISO4 protocol. As a new device is plugged into the network, a message is sent to the registry identifying what device it is and what its capabilities are, whether it's a sender or receiver, it has audio, video, etc. We actually have the same routing panels that we use for SDI. So by using some magic of the NMOS software, we're able to push the button on a routing panel and route from any source to a destination. In this case, we're routing to this display over here is our output. We can push the buttons and you can see just as in SDI, we're able to real time switch between IP sources. So the way this works is the switch queries the registry to find out what devices are on the network. It can then populate the buttons with the names if you like. When the user pushes a button to connect a source to a destination, a message is sent down to the receiving device. This tells the receiving device what the multicast IP address is of the source. It then sends an IGMP message to the switch that tells the switch to let that source's flow pass through the receiver and then shut off the flow of the previous source. IGMP stands for Internet Group Management Protocol. It's the protocol that's used to tell the IP switch to let through only the flows that are subscribed to by the end devices.